about ahead of this matchup tonight. There was a big announcement earlier today that went out concerning the roster adjustments made to your Washington Mystics, and that includes Maisha Hines Allen. Now, of course, we all remember Maisha being a part of the championship team here in the nation's capital. Maisha has now been traded to Minnesota, and it's not just a simple one-for-one -one trade. There are a lot of details in this one, but Marissa, I want to take a closer look at it. In return for Minnesota receiving Maisha Hines Allen, you see it at the top of your screen, Washington receives a 2026 second-round pick. They also received Sika Kone and Olivia Otpupa. Now, here's the differing part about this. That was not the only move made today because just before we came on air, another move was made that Washington receives a 2025 third-round pick and a familiar face in Miss Sutton. And, oh, by the way, Phoenix in turn receives the rights to Clara Lundquist. So with that in mind, I want to walk this down step by step, if you don't mind, Marissa. Let's start where we should at the beginning with Maisha Hines-Allen. What she has done for this franchise, what she means to us on the broadcasting side, and of course her teammates. But I, I think we, we're still cutting it short. You're a former player in this league, on this team as well. What did you see about Maisha Hindown that made her so special? And obviously, when you do things right, other teams want them. So what's your opinion about Maisha? She was reliable. Maisha was a reliable player for this franchise. She was tough. Yep. She was an enforcer. She was a great rebounder. And she could put up big numbers, uh, you know, scoring as well. I'm sure a lot of Mystics fans are kind of questioning why. I think oftentimes in professional sports, sometimes you just outgrow an organization. Yeah. And I think that's what you saw here. Um, she's been great for this franchise. Um, and best of luck to her. I think she'll do great in Minnesota. I think you're absolutely correct. It's not one of those where it's a bad blood situation. We got no it was an opportunity um mike tebow a gm for the team saw an opportunity and he made that move and we will definitely miss maisha hines allen sweet as pie i love her competitive spirit and she's always one that wants to do whatever her team required of her and so i personally will miss talking to her and covering her but like you said we wish her the best moving forward up in minnesota so maisha if you're watching this later on it's all love but remember you're on a different team now so we're gonna have to have a different conversation but that wasn't the only move that also happened today Dee Dee Richards, also a part of this Washington Mystics squad, was also waived moving forward. Now, this is a different conversation because Dee Dee, she brings a different skill set, not necessarily in the scoring department, but her defense is something that this team values. No, absolutely. Defense wins, wins you championships, and that's definitely what she, she was here for. She was here to be that extra defensive presence. Presence. They weren't necessarily looking for her to score. I think what you're seeing is just the Mystics making moves for the future. You know, this season, didn't go as they planned. They had a lot of injuries. Right. And they're in 12th place right now. Unlikely to make the playoffs. So I think right now they're kind of looking for the, toward the future. Indeed. And the future is what it's all about, right? Because you can't play the games that are behind you. <laughs> you can only play the ones in front of you. But speaking of what we've gotten in return for Maisha Hines Allen, the part of that trade included Sika Kone coming to D.C. Now, I want people to take a look at her stat line, her 36, right? 6'3", 180. Averaging 14 points per game. Me being me, I call myself a bit of a sports nerd. I had to go check the tape. And Marissa, when I tell you, I checked the tape. You know the rules of basketball. We don't let you wear number 23 unless you can wear number 23. But I think she's also a bit of a combination between what you get in the physicality of Maisha Hines Allen and some of the height of Dee Dee Richards. But again, as I mentioned, we're talking about all the moves that were made per 36 today. Look at Chuck's height, 5'8", 140. Oh, by the way, in 2020, drafted by the Mystics. So a bit of a return home for her as well. But with that in mind, I'm just curious about something that we've talked about, which is the need for athleticism on this Mystic squad. It is, cannot be overstated, can it? No, absolutely. I think it's the way the game is trending. Mm -hmm. A lot more athletic players are coming in, and you can't just get by with skill anymore. You need right. that athleticism, um, and that's what the Mystic needed for sure. And what does it mean for this organization to have such great relationships with other teams where it's like, hey, I know that that player brings value to my organization. Do you mind if I get them? And then other teams are looking at our roster and going, hey, they got some valuable pieces, ignoring the record. No, it, it, it's something that's underrated in, in sports is you have to have the good relationships but don't want to do business with you. So that shows that the Mystics are, you know, a reputable or, uh, organization that does business the right way and people want to want to work with them. Indeed.